This is the terrible moment when Ukrainian FEV drones and artillery destroyed Russian infantry near Abivka. Drone footage showed four stranded Russian soldiers trying to find shelter near a small forest area around Bakhmut. With the help of accurate drone coordinates, Ukrainian artillery used precision strikes against the positions of Russian troops stationed next to the destroyed armored vehicles. Ukrainian troops launched the first attack, and it was an exact attack because the shells landed right on top of where the Russian forces were hiding. Near the same location, drone footage from Ukraine's 47th Mechanized Brigade showed Russian soldiers running in circles in their trenches trying to avoid FPV drones. But their efforts were in vain as Ukrainian drone operators managed to eliminate all the Russian soldiers there. Other footage also showed Russian troops fleeing to escape Ukrainian drone and artillery attacks in the same area. Drone footage from Ukraine's shadow unit shows Russian BMP armored vehicles driving at high speed towards two previously destroyed Russian T-62 tanks and trying to help evacuate their crews and their immediate escape. Arriving at their destination, the Russian BMPs were immediately targeted by Ukrainian artillery prepared by the shadow drone unit. Initially, the Russian BMP was destroyed, and this meant that the Russian troops had no vehicles to attack, so now they were just running around trying to save themselves. Some Russian troops tried to hide near a small trench system, but they were also targeted by artillery fire, which destroyed their positions in the area. This was also a tense moment when Russian troops abandoned their T-64 tanks when Ukrainian drones dropped grenades on them. Drone footage from Ukraine's 81st Air Mobile Brigade showed a group of Russian tanks equipped with drone protection moving towards Ukrainian positions in the Luhansk region. Again, this does not protect them from Ukrainian FPV drone attacks. With the help of drones, Ukrainian artillery also managed to attack and destroy most of the Russian tanks after which we can see Ukrainian quadcopter drones approaching disabled Russian tanks to complete their task of dropping grenades on them. Then a large explosion was seen which caused the tank to be shattered into pieces, but fortunately, the tank crew had left the tank before the explosion occurred. In the past day, there were 104 clashes on the front lines. Ukrainian defenders managed to repel many Russian attacks in six main regions. At the same time, Russia lost 920 soldiers, 9 tanks, 13 armored fighting vehicles, and 16 artillery systems, according to Ukrainian media outlet Espresso. Currently, there are lots of updates from the Bakhmut direction. Here, some of the fiercest clashes occurred in the Bilorivka area. Russia allocated large numbers of infantry fighting vehicles and tanks to establish a foothold in the region. The first Russian assault group consisted of five BMP-2 infantry fighting vehicles and a tank. They headed towards Bilohorivka from the direction of Zolotorivka. Unfortunately for the Russians, a Ukrainian reconnaissance drone team detected them in time and directed the artillery and kamikaze drone operators near Terekon. Soon after coming under heavy fire, Russian troops passed through a road littered with landmines that had been previously laid by Ukrainian drones. This rendered the entire column immobile, exposing it to the FPV drone and artillery system and destroying it. According to Ukrainian sources, Ukrainian forces managed to destroy five armored vehicles, damage one vehicle and kill 42 Russian soldiers, essentially wiping out the entire platoon. The attack was repulsed by elements of Ukraine's 54th Mechanized Brigade and the 118th Territorial Defense Brigade. The only vehicle that made it out of the Ukrainian killing zone was a tank. Despite this, the tanks were successfully disabled, leaving the crew only with the option of fleeing, and FPV drones then destroyed the empty tanks. C 
Seeing the failure of the second attack, the Russians decided to deploy Storm Z penalty battalion troops for a third attack in the hope that they would overwhelm the Ukrainian forces with their sheer numbers. However, the third attack did not produce any results, as only one disarmed Russian stormtrooper survived. One BMP-2 was also abandoned in the same area and later destroyed by the Ukrainians. Many bodies of Storm Z stormtroopers were left lying on the field, but I can't show you a picture simply because too many troops died. Meanwhile, Russia is taking advantage of the war front in Ukraine while U.S. military aid remains withheld in Congress, according to the Institute for the Study of War. Ukraine has relied heavily on arms and ammunition supplied by the U.S. and other allies as it has struggled against invading Russian troops for more than two years. Although Ukraine achieved some significant successes during the war, Russia has achieved a series of victories in recent months that put Kyiv at a disadvantage. Some of Ukraine's European allies have taken action this year by offering Ukraine increased aid. However, Russia's success coincided with a halt in U.S. military aid earlier this year. In a report published on Monday, ISTO, a U.S.-based think tank, said that Ukrainian military officials had repeatedly warned that a lack of aid would negatively impact Kyiv's ability to defend itself against current and future Russian offensive operations front that is expected to begin in late spring and summer. Meanwhile, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky compared support for Israel with support for Ukraine in a televised address on Monday, saying that the United States, Britain, France, and Jordan were acting together and with maximum efficiency to help Israel defend itself against an Iranian attack. Zelensky also regretted that similar support was not provided to Ukraine. 